As a martial artist, Goku has used many different and unique techniques throughout his very long martial arts career. So today, I thought I'd make my personal top 5 Goku moves slash techniques. Okay, so um, I thought I'd quickly mention before I start this that Goku's only actually made one of these techniques. And, well, we don't know whether he learned it off screen from someone else, but it's implied that Goku made it. So, most of these techniques were big techniques that he's learned from other people. So, let's begin, shall we? So, for my number five, I've picked the instantaneous movement slash instant transmission. And... There's a lot to say about this technique, it's debatably one of Goku's most broken techniques as he just needs to concentrate and put two fingers up to his head and he can essentially teleport anywhere he can feel key. And it's such a diverse and quite versatile move and it's definitely saved Goku and his friends a lot of different times. A lot of people joke that if other characters knew instant transmission they'd be debatably as useful as Goku and I see why people think that because it's an extremely useful technique and it can be used in combination with a lot of Goku's other moves and um yeah it's definitely one of Goku's top moves and um when you think of Goku nowadays it does come to mind pretty quickly and it can just be used for so much that it's so diverse that I had to make this list so yeah instant transmission is number five for the number 4 spot, I'm actually going to pick the Dragon Fist, and this was the move I mentioned that Goku most probably made this move himself, and it's actually really cool. It's definitely one of my favourites. It has such a cool aesthetic, and whenever Goku's used it, it's been highly effective. It first made its appearance, I believe, in Wrath of the Dragon, the movie, which is the movie with Harudagon the big um, kaiju-like monster, and Goku uses it while it's Super Saiyan free form to just to kill Harudagon and completely destroy him. And it made other various appearances in both video games and obviously Dragon Ball GT. It was really, really cool in that series with Super Saiyan 4. It's just a really awesome technique, and um, I think it needs to be used a little more. And I'm kind of hoping they'll bring it back at some point in if they bring Dragon Ball Super back. So yeah, I'm a big fan of the Dragon Fist, and yeah, the Dragon Fist makes number four. Okay, so we're talking about the big three now, and these are very interchangeable, and instant transmission might be up there for a lot of other people. However, my personal number three is the Genki Dama slash Spirit Bomb. The Spirit Bomb, although not technically that effective against Goku's enemies, the only enemy it's actually properly taken care of and killed is Majin Buu, or Kid Buu, you could say. Yeah, he killed Kid Buu with the, with the spirit bomb. His other attempts against Vegeta and Frieza were a lot less effective, uh, but we can't also forget Dragon Ball GT, where the spirit bomb killed um, Omega Shenron, so that's another win for the spirit bomb. It's been used to defeat enemies in various other movies as well, and it was also used in the Tournament of Power to um, give Goku a slight momentum shift against Jiren. And it was basically the move that triggered Goku's Ultra Instinct for the first time. And I personally just absolutely love the move. I love the concept of it, that it uses def a, like all living beings' life energy to make it stronger. And I really like the way King Kai slash Kaiosama told Goku the spirit bomb. I like the way it was a technique that he kind of learned to do but not properly and it was nice the way um it was integrated into the story. It's personally one of my favourites and it's definitely iconic. I personally am just a really big fan of it and I think it's really cool. So yeah, the spirit bomb comes in at number three. Okay, so the big two. A lot of people may not agree with it being this high but um I think it's gonna be pretty like people won't mind my personal number two is the Kaioken and I really love this technique it was obviously taught um, to Goku by King Kai once again but um yeah this is a really iconic move slash technique it's basically a technique it's not really a move but the move can multiply Goku's fighting energy and speed and everything in his fighting times the amount Goku can push himself to. You guys know what the Kaioken does, I can't talk today. But yeah, the Kaioken has been used uh, so many times and I'm really happy that it came back in Dragon Ball Super. Although, 
it has opened a can of worms to where the Kaioken is a little broken, but you know, I absolutely love the Kaioken. I like the way it has really high stakes earlier in the series. It wasn't something like Super Saiyan, where Goku could just pull out whenever he needs it, because whenever Goku used it, it damaged his body and really strained him. So there was always that stress and tension of, will Goku's body be able to hold out? And if what Goku's planning doesn't work, what's he gonna do? Because it adds a lot of um, tension and like especially against Frieza where it's revealed that Goku was using Kaioken the whole time and then his and then Goku used his times 10 Kamehameha and yeah that's one of my favorite moments in Dragon Ball but yeah I absolutely love the Kaioken and yeah it's gonna be number two on my list okay so number one what else could it be but the Kamehameha or the Kamehameha wave, if you want to call it that. It was taught to Goku by Master Roshi, and Goku picked it up pretty quick. But over the years, he's really mastered it. Well, debatably mastered it, because Master Roshi has the best Kamehameha because his energy is perfectly controlled. Where, if you notice with any other character but Roshi, their Kamehamehas are always kind of unbalanced with the energy, always like flies everywhere. But Master Roshi's Kamehameha wave is an absolutely straight, perfect attack. So you could debate Roshi has completely mastered it, but as in raw power, I would say Goku has really mastered it in his own way. And it's such an iconic attack. It's the attack you first think of when you think of Goku. And I like the way Goku used the Kamehameha in different ways. For example, back in Dragon Ball, he used he shot a Kamehameha out of his feet. And um, I really want them to bring that back. That was really creative. And yeah, that was really awesome. If you guys haven't seen it, you should look up the feet Kamehameha wave. It's really, really awesome. And yeah, it's just been used so much and it's one of Goku's really reliable finishing moves and also a move to, you know, turn the tide of a battle. And it's just one of Goku's go-to moves to do some damage. Even if the Kamehameha wave doesn't defeat an enemy, it will definitely damage them a lot and you know, it'll do <laughs> it'll do some damage. But I personally just think it's such an awesome technique and I know a lot of other characters but Goku have used it, but there's nothing else you could really give Goku as his number one pick, in my opinion. You could debate um any of his top three moves could be his number one, which I kind of agree with. It wouldn't make me salty, but I definitely think the Kamehameha deserves to be the number one. And I think it's just, it's really iconic. It's Goku's go-to move. It's gone him out of so many jams. And yeah, as it's my personal list, I would say it is my favourite Goku move. However, I have a re really soft spot for the Spirit Bomb and Kaioken as well. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. Also, comment down below if you want me to do more top 5 videos about Dragon Ball, because I personally really enjoy it. I'd really appreciate some comments and other things to talk about within Dragon Ball, like discussion topics. And yeah, if you want to follow me on Twitter, the link to it's in the description, as well as the link to my Patreon. I really hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me know what your favourite Goku move is in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications from whenever I upload a video. And also, have a great day. Bye guys!